Hey, check it out. My man Grey Rat is back. Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement. Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Yep. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. Close? I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion knife. Oh, nice. I mean, not nice, Lida. In the end, it all paid off. Aha, you run into Sigwood. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. Yeah, what do you got? Stuff, other stuff. Yeah, tons of things. Oh, some titanite, titanite scales and twinkling titanite. That actually is pretty good. I'll certainly buy those at some point. A couple more weapons. Yeah, I like some of these things. Moonlight arrows he sells now. Oh, exactly, they do magic damage. I see, I see. Lots of magic damage, so I should probably have some of those around. Fire arrows for similar reasons. Let's buy fire arrows, in fact, and <laughs> let's equip fire arrows. Cool. So, speaking of weapons, notice this is not in a stock. I've decided to give the Ushigatana a second chance since I'm revolutionizing my equipment and so on here. So I'm going to try it out. I'll see if I like it or not. Onward. Onward and downward. So this distant manor bonfire. I've been to the distant manor before, obviously, as I have the bonfire here. It is perched on the edge of a cliff at the edge of Irithil. Uh, where the boreal valley ends, I suppose. And the distant manor um, seems to head way downwards and eventually a bridge extends from it and goes down the cliff into a kind of tower that looks, well, it looks like part of the Great Wall of the Undead Berg, doesn't it? It looks like the tower in between the Berg and uh, the Dark Moon Garden. It is probably not really that, but who knows? This place has surprised me with it's returning geography already. So, let's head down. Here are Rex's moves at the moment. Dodge, obviously. Ushi Katana R1. It does katana swings, they look cool at least. Big chop. You know, like downward slash. Lots of stamina used there. Whereas these ones only use like one or two. I can make full swings if I really want to. They're not that fast though. You can also do this, roll and cut, right? Vertical slice, sorry, horizontal slice. This seems relevant, actually. Back step and cut. Whoa! Back step and dash forward. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. That I will need to practice. Where are you going? Ambush ahead. Ah, well, that answers that question, doesn't it? I'll just go this way instead, I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice roll there, if you ask my opinion. Which I suppose you didn't. Oh, the thing I don't like about this moveset is still here. It, um, it's good, right? But it doesn't combo. You can't get an attack going and then just keep going against a weak enemy. You have to, like, basically attack twice only and then back off. So you don't have the opportunity to just kind of completely combo someone to death. I mean, you can't do that with strong enemies anyway, so it might be fine against people who you need something complex against, basically. It's good after a roll, though. Like, that's a good attack. Hmm. It does feel like Fire Witch Armor. That sounds cool. It feels like a good weapon, this moveset, particularly stuff like this and like this. This feels like something you could do some real damage with. You could wreck people, as it were, if you know what you're doing. So maybe I'll try and learn what, I've, what I'm doing. Hang on. Is this the entire place? Oh. Well, I wanted to get out here and see the view. But presumably there is more to it than that. Let's just finish off this interior. Gosh, I hope that's all there is and it doesn't continue onward or something. Ah, 
I knew he was there from the eyes in the darkness. Okay, I... Two-handing this Ushikitana and rolling around a lot, it is making me feel cool. Like, uh, as if I were a cool person. So, maybe I'll keep doing it for a while. Large Titanite Shard. What I really need are chunks at this point. It does decent damage too, even though it's like one level lower than my stock. Okay, that was the distant mana. Phew, I was worried that might turn it into a dungeon crawl. Dark Spirit ahead. Is there? Presumably they can't invade if I'm not embered, so I better get that on. I like NPC invasions. And what have we got here? Door. There we go. Alva, Seeker of the Spurned. Alva, as in Alva's armor? He's wearing Alva's armor, so yes. That's interesting. This is a, a character from Dark Souls, well, a character referenced in Dark Souls too. Interesting, I don't really know who that is. I, I remember, I, I, I know the name and I used to wear Alva's armor for a long time, but I don't actually really remember anything about it. About them, rather. Apart from cool looking armor with decent stats and being some sort of person with characteristics, I guess. The big old curving sword. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm um, doing a lot of rolling and katanaing is definitely cool, right? <laughs> like, even if it's not powerful, and it does seem to be okay in terms of power, it's, it is super cool. I should be using Talisman here, so I can be like, heal. Murakumo, I have just picked up from Alva, Seeker of the Spurn. Thank you for the warning message, you helped me quite a bit. And this message is unlikely to be helpful. No detour ahead. Yes, that was unhelpful. There's nothing down there but rocks. This is not as cool as I thought it might be. What about if I look out in the other direction? Summon to another world again. These walls, they do look a bit like the walls of Lordran, don't they now? So it's almost like Lothric is set past and even higher than Lordran. Though I really I think it's like an intersection of worlds. Drake and Imber. Where are Drake and Imber? Oh, this way. Yo. You might want to take account of the fact that I've got a cool katana, right? And therefore I'm obviously dangerous and powerful, so don't mess with me. Huh. Oh. I guess the Dark Spirit was someone else. We won! Yay! <laughs> Good. I don't think I got a Dark Moon badge for that since I didn't really contribute. Oh, fair enough. Okay, what was I going to do? I was going to look out over this way. And I see that we are very high up. Like, infeasibly high up. All of Dark Souls 1 and 3 take place just kind of insanely far above the rest of the world there set in. It's a bit silly. What was that? What was that? I saw a red health bar. And ha ha. Invaded by Dark Spirit. Gank killer. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. <laughs> okay, let's head inside here and uh, look for gank killer. I don't really want to get ganked and killed, but Sometimes you got no choice. Hey, it's another bonfire. Though I won't be able to activate it because of the dark spirit. That's inconvenient. Oh, come on. I said I didn't want a dungeon crawl. For heck's sake. Or wreck's sake, possibly. Seriously? Okay, whatever. Where's he going? Letting me light the bonfire, maybe? Thank you. That was polite. People definitely have a sense of etiquette in this game. I think I got the better of that exchange. Ah, now I can't use the Usha Katana like it's a, uh, a stock, mind you. But you know what I can do? I can use it like it's an Usha Katana, which is pretty fucking good. Holy shit. Like 
roll hit, 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 then like, vex, no, oh. Heal, it seems like the time to do that. This moveset, this is a PvP ass moveset. Come on, come on, you know you want it, you know you want to. It was she get tanned, I guess. You probably don't actually. Because if you've just rolled, you get a three hit combo starting with a super quick hit. That's good. And then if. Ah, oh, see, I should have backstepped there, and then I could have been like. Like that, basically, is what I would have been able to do earlier. Very, very PvP moveset. I like it. Got a thrust attack. Oh. <laughs> and then I got hit by the big weapon and I died. Fair enough. Good job, game killer. Okay. So, Ushigitana. I was indeed unfair to it the first time. It's a good weapon. What up, Irithyll Dungeon? A door. Doesn't open to the side, though. Passage. Cool. Bonfire. Important. We have the whole world laid out before us here. It's effectively a map of the game, I've realised that. Check it out, down there that's uh, Farron Keep. Or at least, that's, sorry, that's the Farron Keep perimeter. This bridge, I'm going to point out with my um, katana, this bridge leads to the Undead Settlement. There it is. And you can see it also rises out of Farron Keep. There's the actual keep, below which are the catacombs of Carthus. They descend, of course, and come out in the Boreal Valley. Then, uh, over here on the right is the Cathedral of the Deep. The sea below it, the deep itself. Um, in between the Cathedral of the Deep and the Undead Settlement and Farron Keep is, of course, the Road of Sacrifices, that area there, the foresty bit. It all kind of makes sense and fits together. And you can even see, you can see Irithil in the distance, Irithil of the Boreal Valley, and you can even see Anor Londo. Just above Rex Pope Hat here, there's a little peak, a cap, right? So that's cool, you can see most of the game laid out. Over here too is a complex of buildings which I don't know how to reach yet, again above the Pope Hat. I can see it more clearly from Irithil, I'm sure I'll get there at some point. And there might be something way over there or it might just be more trees. But you might notice something is missing from this overview of the game, something we can't see from this angle. And that is the place we're going next. Here's Irithil, right? But we're not going up from Irithil, we're going down into Irithil Dungeon, so that descends behind the bulk of the game here, to behind the Undead Settlement. What could be down there? I do not know. I'm going to go and find out. After showing off a couple of weird things I found, I found something outside Firelink Shrine, which I do not think was there before. Let's have a look. Where uh, it was, where the dog was. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this gravestone now has a sword on it and an item. Hawkwood's shield. That's interesting. What is Hawkwood's shield and why is it here? Shield that belonged to Hawkwood, deserted from the Undead Legion. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers does not usually allow for shields. Hawkwood's very position of it was telltale of his defeat. Oh, okay. I don't know why that's... I didn't really even check out the stats on it. I didn't really need a new shield at this very moment in time. And it's also not a very good shield. It's a very light parrying shield, basically. Very, very light. Oh, whatever. The Undead Settlement, where I've found something interesting while helping people co-op with bosses. 
I've been traveling around the world defeating people um, and while I mostly focused on Aldrich here at the Curse Road Rotted Greatwood I've found well I haven't checked it yet but it looks like the sign Cirrus used to summon me back in Irithyll there we go Cirrus of the Sunless Realms so is she like fighting this boss having not got up to it until now I suppose so I like this being summoned trick. It'd be nice if there was more of it. Hello, we're in the pit. I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grandpa. Remember? What? This is the guy the tree falls on. Oh shit, it's the guy who's invaded me twice. I didn't realise it was the same person. Holy crap. Um Cool. I'm gonna use some rotten pine rosin. I he's the the mound maker covenant guy who's mad. He talks about being mad, um, and he invades you at least twice, at least twice in the game. And apparently, Cirrus's grandfather. Okay. Presumably, she's coming to put him down. Unfortunately, he heals. Hmm. It's two on one, but it was a pretty tough enemy when it wasn't. Also, this is his world. We're both phantoms here. This is a co-op invade. How did she do this? Not that I'm objecting at all. It's cool. Ah, what was that? Iron flesh? Yeah, I think so. Warmth. Don't let him heal up. Man, this this Ushikatana uses a lot of stamina. It's cool. Very cool. You can't exactly combo people to death with it. You have to play better. Duty fulfilled. Good night, Granddad. Wow. It's interesting, the Blades of the Dark Moon were originally about revenge and putting down people who'd gone hollow or defied the gods. Yorshka's interpretation is that they're basically blue sentinels, but I don't think she knows what she's talking about. I wonder if Cirrus has access to some more information. There's where Hodric was, down there. I want to see if I can get down. I need a bonfire. Pit of Hollows, here we go. So, I don't know why... Uh, yeah, I thought there'd be something here. This is where, in my world, he died to the, the Curse Road Greatwood falling on him. I don't know quite how that works. This, presumably all these timelines overlapping have something to do with it. And I get sunset gear. Cool. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Oh, that ruled. Back to Firelink. Presumably I've missed some stuff, or I might have known about Sirius and Hotrick and what was going on. There you are. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. What? But there is. Why do you want to die? last, may I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Yes, please do. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight, wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver, blessing of the moon upon your journey. She's... this is... this is Dark Moon ritual stuff. 
They clearly, in the sunless realms, wherever they were, some of the traditions survived. If I may ever be of assistance, I am your knight forever and true. Oh. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Right. I'll look for your summon sign in various places. Thank you. But that bit about now I can die was rather, um... Well, it was a little worrying. I won't say it wasn't. Okay. Okay.